Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Today, we're going to stop Malos from using Ion to destroy the world and end his plans once and for all. Once we enter this door, there is no going back. The game will automatically save before you move on, but if you fail in battle, you will return to the title screen, where, up, where upon loading the game will just send you right back here. So you don't need to worry too much about losing a whole lot, but just keep in mind that the game will save right here. So there you go. But anyway, once you're ready, once you've completed all of your preparations, head inside for the final battle. Just in time for the final act, boy. I've saved you the best seats in the house. <laughs> I sounded just like Akos for a moment there. Akos is dead, you bastard. So is Petroka. And Jen. Figured as much. Is that all? What? You want me to weep and deliver a eulogy? What good would that do? They all desired oblivion, and now they've achieved it. Least I can do is send them off with a smile. Malos, is this really what you want? Huh? Is this what you want, Malos? I don't understand the question. You must understand by now that none of this is your own will. <laughs> you have to see all of this came from a Malthus. Even if that's true, so what? And don't give me some weak-ass crap about how I should repent or whatever. Why don't you want to hear the truth? Here's the thing. I don't give a rat's ass what you think, brat! So blades become titans, and titans give life to humans. Honestly, who even gives a damn? They can become whatever they want. But that man... He'd lost everything. He no longer wanted anything. He didn't even want to live anymore. And despite that, his life was the one thing he hadn't lost. Because he couldn't! What of you forgetting me? It's like one heart is being ripped in two. Words can be a curse. That curse was what kept him tied down here. A wretched tale, isn't it? This whole world is a wretched place. Do not forget that you too are a part of that world. If it were not for you, for Amalthus, both Jin and Laura's lives may have taken quite different paths. Exactly. That's exactly it. You've gotten smarter with age, huh? I'm a wretched being, too. A hideous monster, far beyond saving. So, let's end this now. Don't you feel anything? Father's sadness, the world he longed for. How could I? That isn't my role in this world. This man, does he mean to? Come at me, kid! Come, my partner! Give me all you've got. You better show me all of it! The extent of your will! Show me why you're here in this world! Do it like 
like I showed you and we'll be on you. Now. Just watch this. Yes. You're all quietly. Let's. My will. I'm we fine. We need fine. to settle this. Don't give up on me. Yeah. Oh, All right, it's time for the final battle against Artifice Ion itself. This is, in fact, the final boss fight, viewers, so get ready. Anyway, so, Artifice Ion has quite a few tricks up his arsenal that can, and will, ruin your day. What you want to do is start off by piling on those blade combos. They are pretty well crucial to being able to defeat this guy, especially given just how much health his, he actually has. Now we'll likely see everything that Artifice Iron can do during the course of this battle, so I'll just make note of it as it happens, because I think it's a little bit more impactful that way. Like this! The Blizzard! Now basically what Blizzard does is that it makes a few games every so often, and then releases them and continues to maintain them as it goes along. No, no, I'm just, I'm just um, Blizzard will nullify your healing ability temporarily, which can be extremely dangerous if you're uh, not prepared or if you've already been damaged. Uh, he doesn't seem to use it that often, and I found that it's actually something you can avoid if you step out of the AoE for it. It's just that the AoE happens to be rather massive, so not something I usually do. Another thing you can do is Anthropos, which will reduce your blade's affinity and uh, shackle your blades, which can be really troublesome and unfortunate. Unfortunately, I don't think you can double spinning edge spin if your blades are shackled, so that's just the thing you're going to have to deal with. Let's see, what else is he going to do? I think he has some basic attacks, but he doesn't seem to use them a whole lot. Uh, just like with other really large enemies in the game. What you gonna pull off next? You're not gonna do anything, you're just gonna keep wailing on you. You realize that, right? I would love it if you know, he's gonna go for Blizzard again. Um, can I run out of the AoE for this? <laughs> yes you can! I knew it! Oh, that's, that's very good. Um, actually, no, it's pretty damn worthless, but whatever. I at least avoided the brunt of, of, of that. What's going on with my camera today? By the way, you may notice that I ran straight up as far forward as I could to fight Ion. You can actually stand pretty far back and still deal damage to the guy. It's, it's certainly odd, but it's just something that happens. Now let's see, I believe that's... Three? Did I not do... Yeah, no, that's three. Okay, so, uh, let's go with Fire, Water, Ice, I think. Oh, more Anthropos. Anthropos! I might... I might activate Numa for this fight. You don't need to in order to make it beyond this point, but I might do it anyway. I'll just tell you this right now. Uh, there's... Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. There are two phases to this fight, and one of them comes up after we get his HP down a little bit for, for further. Now, unfortunately, he's gone into range, and he's about to use X-Star, which just deals multiple hits uh, to each of your party members. There's not anything you can do from this range. Um, when he goes this far, he's going to use X-Star and then War of the Servants. All War of the Servants does is that it calls forth an Artifice Colossi. Possibly more than one, but usually just one Artifice Colossus. Um, when the Artifice Colossus appears, you want to take care of it as soon as possible to avoid it causing problems for you later. It's not something you can just put off and let your AoEs handle. Uh, it's much too powerful for that. Uh, 
But anyway, defeating an Artifice Colossus is practically the same as defeating another boss of relatively the same caliber. It's just blade combos. Uh, you don't want to finish it off with Numa for obvious reasons. You really want to hang on to that one for later. Also, whatever you do, do not activate a chain attack during this phase of the battle. Uh, trust me, you will live to regret it if you do. Or, well, rather, you won't live to regret it, you'll die. <laughs> Ow. Uh-oh, this could be it. Oh, she switched out. Yeah, let's do this. Don't stand behind the Narnifus Colossus, by the way. It will counterattack that. But anyway, once you've dicked around with an Artifice Colossus for long enough, uh, Ion's gonna come back to the forefront, but by then you should have killed the thing. So, once Ion comes back, you want to focus your target again, and start wailing on the guy. I'm not gonna escape the AA for this. Yeah... It just wasn't in the cards for me that time. That's unfortunate, but it's something we're just gonna have to deal with. Here well, comes Anthropos, so there go all my blades. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know how far they are getting Splash Hazard ready. Um, if you don't want Splash Hazard. Gotcha! Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, we aren't at max affinity, that's why. Uh, we don't want Splash Hazard, as a matter of fact. We want Dark, which I can only access with Numa right now. Oh, it ran out of time. Okay, well, activate and Ice Combo instead, I guess. I think Ice Ice Wind is a combo we can do. No, it's Ice Water. Man. We'll just have to wait for Morak to switch. I think she would switch off if she could. Hmm. Just use this. And then we can switch off. I'd like to end this phase of the fight without using Numa, just to show off that I can. And because I'm not entirely sure if using it in this phase stops you from using it in the next phase. Ooh, maybe I should have kept him out there. Well, whatever. I think I'm just gonna like I said before, though, you definitely do not want to use a chain attack right now. You want that chain attack gauge to stay as full as possible. Anyway, this should probably end the first phase. No? Interesting. Huh. Well, we can do this. Alright, there we go. Yourself. It's nothing. Can you still not see? Stop the artifice! Malos! See what, brat? 
The world's never gonna change if that's all you got! We've come all this way! Why don't you just let it go?! Who do you think you're doing this for?! I'm doing it for myself. If it helps put smiles on people's faces, Helps them live their lives together. Then that's my role in this world! Jin told me to take care of you. In his place, you know. Jin never wanted to die. He just wanted to connect with you. He did it because you showed him a path. And how many people died because of it? You'd forgive him just like that? Forgiving isn't that easy, but that's just the world we live in. We need to find a way forward within that world. Even you used to think like that once! Day, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! Hurry, the time is nigh. Alright, it's time for the second phase of the final boss fight. Now, starting off, you want to immediately draw your weapons because it's very likely that he's going to use Siren Buster. And this move is powerful enough to immediately one-shot one party member. Or barely not one-shot one party member. So that's why I told you not to uh, let your party gauge empty like that because you definitely want to be able to revive Rex if Siren Buster kills him in one hit. Now apparently I got lucky enough to survive but not quite lucky enough to not have the uh, apartment complex owners mow the lawn while I'm trying to record this episode. But anyway, uh, the final boss fight is basically the same strategy as it was before. Uh, all of your orbs are cleared now so feel free to just go ham. But basically, what you want to do is you want to build up at least four, preferably five orbs on Artifice Ion, then finish him off with a uh, full burst using Numa. Now you can continue to build up orbs as much as you want. The thing to be careful of is that if you get him down to below half health, he might use an attack called Prometheus, I believe it's called. If he uses Prometheus, activate a chain attack immediately or it's game over. I'm not exaggerating, Prometheus will kill your entire party completely and I don't think you can protect against it either. It's extremely powerful and that's why you want to make sure you're prepared for it. But other than that, uh, again, his abilities are much the same as they were before. Uh, he has X-Star, which he will now use while close as well as distant. Uh, he has Anthropos, the Shadow Blades. 
Blizzard to shackle your healing, um, and War of the Servants to call his servants, I guess. Much as before, you want to make sure you attack him constantly, uh, build up your chain attack, or not chain attacks, but your blade combos as fast as you can, while also making sure me and your avant garde medals keep up with your healing. All in all, if you're roughly level 70, it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, obviously, the fight's a lot harder if you're way underleveled. Uh, I have heard that some people have done this fight at levels as low as 60. I cannot recommend that. Uh, level 70 or 69 should be uh, quite enough for this. I didn't get out of range. Anything, uh, let's open I think Ice Water Wind should be a good one. The real balance here comes from timing your final uh, chain attack, or not chain attack, but blade combo, uh, to a time when he's not going to do like, uh, is timing it so that you don't get caught by a second War of the Servants, but you also won't get caught by a Prometheus. Well, I got it off, but I'm still shackled. And unfortunately, I'm shackled to Roth right now, which is not ideal. We'll just have to live with it, I guess. Retreat? I, I don't retreat. I make them retreat. Okay. Now we're gonna activate it. We're gonna go for a diamond mix. Oh, by the way, uh, you may notice that I'm not really going out of my way to do driver combos. They're... they... I mean, he's susceptible to driver combos. They're just not that useful. I would focus more on blade combos for this one. They're more of a attack on damage sort of a thing. Okay, so we've built five orbs on him, which is a little bit more than I usually do. Let's see where we go with our chain attack. Hopefully we can finish him off in a single full burst, or else this fight is going to end a lot more embarrassingly than I would like. Take him out! Burst. Okay, well, that's one orb down. Um, let's see. If we attack with theory, we can draw out the combo a little bit more. Which is what I want. I want to be able to do as much damage as I possibly can and rack up the damage on this counter. Okay, so we're definitely full bursting this round. That's just a given. Oh, this might not be enough. Ooh, it's gonna be close, folks. Did we... Yeah, we got him! Awesome! And that's the final boss. So that was well done! Yeah, that was so good! Cool. 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 Cool.